Hello, I want to talk about student debt. So there is a growing rhetoric about the effects of student debt. So I think we currently have around 1.5 trillion with a T dollars um, accumulating debt, debt of students that they took. Many of the blame goes for universities and the rising costs of tuition, which I'm sure it's definitely one of the reasons we have this problem. So for example, uh, Bernie Sanders talks about loan forgiveness, that we need to forgive like uh, all the loans. But my problem is, I think there's a different problem here. I think most of the of the cost that university costs, especially considering financial aid and other um, scholarships, most of the money goes towards room and board. So the cost of living in America, North America, or any of the developed countries is very high. So this is most of the money that, that's what I would argue, that most of the money that people take as loans, students take as loans, is for the loan uh, is for a living and not for the actual school because sometimes they have scholarships or other financial aid. So I think most of the money goes towards tuition and not, not towards tuition, towards room and board, just living your life. It's probably take uh, at least four years for, for most. I think the average is around five, especially if you take, if you go to masters, that's going to take literally eight or 10 years and living in, in developed countries, especially here in America, the U S uh, that's very expensive. So if we don't want to solve this problem instead of forgiving, I'm, I'm, I'm all for, not all for, but I think forgiving would help some people. Uh, there is also the question, how much you would forgive? And there is a problem of fairness, who would you should forgive for? But I'm not going to get into that problem of lo uh, loan forgiveness program. I'm talking more about the fact that the, the, the cost of living here in the U.S. is the blame. That's what I would argue that this is not there is there is the tuition costs are rising and rising more than inflation. But I think there is another problem, which is cost of living and how long it takes to acquire and get your degree, which can take uh, quite a few years. I don't see it's longer than everywhere else, uh, but it definitely higher. And we need to figure out how we can give students a cheaper way to acquire those degrees without getting into so much debt. Because just forgiving that money, it was just giving money for free, which you can argue that is good, but I'm not getting, I'm not getting into that. I think there is a different problem here that we need to address. That's the idea.